Hey everybody, it's Stephen Get Money Myrick here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Tavern Quest and what it means for you. I'm going to be giving you some guidelines about what I recommend after talking with a few people and some of the analysis that has been done on it. And I want to just give you the knowledge you need so that you can make the best decisions and not be worried about it, not be stressed out. Before I go any further in this video, I did want to say that if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing you're going to notice is there are two different types of quests. There are team quests and there are individual quests. Okay, and team quests will give you gems and some artifacts and some gear. Individual quests will give you kind of what you would use to get from the event raid because you can see event raid is no longer here. So the intention is that the team quests are replacing the Lost Underground, which is the gems you would get from your friends list that we don't get more, and it would also replace the 100 gems you get down here. And then the individual quests are going to replace the event raid. So you're going to be getting things like <clears throat> green goo, purple goo, uh, gold, three star shards, four star shards, basic hero scrolls. Uh, but you can also get a few other things. And the cost of re rolling these is now 20 gems, but they've gotten rid of one star quest and two star quest. Uh, which stunk, and you spend a lot of time re-rolling those on the old ways. So I think you'll end up re-rolling a lot less. You get more quests now than you used to get. And overall, I think this is a good change, and I think it will end up being better for everybody, and it allows you to target what resources you want to get. So a guild member of mine, Piffle213, uh, broken name in game, uh, did some analysis on this event, and I wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I will definitely leave a link and make sure in the comments below to give a thank you to Piffle213 or to Broken Name. I'm sure to appreciate it because he spent a lot of time thinking about this. And basically, his logic was uh, that the only quests you will likely be rolling are the three-star tavern quest in the individual side, uh, which you can't see. I brought it up here, your individual side. Um, and so he looked at what the value you're going to get is out of those. And he figured if it's more than three stars, you're going to, uh, you know, just keep them. And if it's the team quest, because the gym value is only they, they, like the, the three star quests start at 50 gems and then 60 for the four star, 70 for the five star, 80 for the six star and 90 for the seven star. Uh, so those are like the gym values you can get there. So at, since the bare minimum is 50, you're obviously not going to really reroll those for 20 gems just to get something that's 60 gems. Even though the gear and artifacts you get can be a higher quality, it's probably not worth it. So he was looking at the three star uh, things that you can roll and you can see he's got different gym values, three star, three star shard values, four star shard values, uh, green goo, gold, promotion stones, which is purple goo and basic scrolls and he went through and assigned a gem value to all of them so the gems the three star shards the four star shards the gold the wishing well coin the arena tickets uh which you may or may not value at all because they're not worth much they're only 12 gems the promotion stones which you may not value basic scrolls which you don't value at all and he went through and said that if you average the value of all these things placing zero on scrolls you get an average of 46.7 gem value returned if you place zero value in retics and promotion stones like me, you get an average value of 41.7. So that's around where I am, honestly. And if you place zero value on arena tickets, promotion stones, golden spirit, which I think that's a bad take. Like golden spirit becomes important no matter where you are in the game. You'll hit a point where you need it. Uh, then the value is 27.8. So basically he's saying that, you know, your average reroll value is going to be 41.7 gems versus the 20 gems you spend to re-roll them. Now, obviously, you're actually losing physical gems and trading them for a resource. So if you value gems really, really highly because you need them to buy, you know, certain items, maybe it's not quite equivalent. But he's basically just making an argument that in general, you're going to be able to roll off of something that you don't want and get something you do want. Uh, and so that in general, you should be re-rolling those quests. A few other things I wanted to touch on and fill you in before we go in and show some examples of actually re-rolling quests. One is that now this $5 uh, mini privilege card or whatever you want to call it, it does give plus two tavern quests, uh, one for team and one for individual. So this value actually went up, I believe, quite a bit here uh, when you consider the fact that you're getting, you know, at a minimum 50 gems from the individual plus some gear, and then you're also getting some more resources uh, for the individual one. Uh, I, I don't remember what I said. Team 150, individual one, some other resources. So that's kind of cool uh, and maybe makes this worth buying a little bit more. The other question that people are going to ask is, you know, where should I spend my tavern scrolls now? 
uh, because a lot of people are saying put them in team quest because that's where you can get the guaranteed gym values. Uh, so for example, if we come in here and we use one, we will get 50 gems, right? Uh, but I was watching June's uh, stream today and he was making an argument, and I think I agree with him, that you should be using your blue scrolls in the team quest because, you know, on average, let's say you're going to get a three star and we just decide that we value those at 41 gems, whereas in the team quest, you're getting 50 gems minimum, potentially higher. So it does make sense to use the blue scrolls in team quest, but that you should be using your purple scrolls in the um, individual quest. And I'm assuming the thought process there is that like, if you're going to spike big, like in a team quest is still only going to give you 90 gems and they'll give you some gear and some artifacts, right? Uh, but if you spike big on uh, the individual quest, like I did, like I uh, I did get a seven star quest. I got 734 four star shards, which is three five star heroes, uh, which is about a thousand gems of value. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, obviously a lot more than 90 gems. Now granted, if you need artifacts really badly and you spike hard on an orange artifact with a seven star quest, like cool, good for you. Uh, but I think I, I think I kind of like that. I, I like the idea of using the purple on the individual and the blue on the team quest. Definitely blue on the team makes the most sense when you consider that it's in general going to be a three star quest. Um, and unfortunately I've used all mine before this update came out, but if you still got yours, go ahead, use them here. And like I said, you can see you're getting a lot more artifact essence and a lot more gear essence, which is going to be great uh, and helping people out there because we were did not have good ways to get artifact essence. And then the individual quest, let's see what we got. We got six star here, so almost a free roll there in branches. You see this 200 four stars here. That's almost a five star hero right there. Lots of three star shards, which I'm super excited about. Super wishing coin. Ooh, 97 gems, 96 gems, Heroic Summon Scroll, which is 150 gems. This is still useless. Uh, this is still useless. This I don't really value because I've never run out of purple goo, but some accounts will run out of purple goo. Uh, so if we wanted to put this in practice, what would we do? We would come in, we go through, and we're pretty much just going to deploy everything here and not reroll anything. It just doesn't really make sense to reroll here. And then we will go into the individual quest and we will look at what we want to be re-rolling based on what we prioritize because that's the big thing is it will let you choose <clears throat> like which resources you care about so obviously i care about these i care about these i want that super wishing coin just because it's about 200 gem value get some more gems here get some more gems here and like i said you can see it's a lot of gems to refresh um but you can't get one in two-star quest anymore, which is nice. Uh, definitely get that, get this, get this, uh, and get this. Sweet. So we got this uh, five-star, you know, heroic summon scrolls here. We got two million gold, which is nice. More green goo, which is nice. Now, obviously, we're losing the event raid, right? Um, so now you're paying gems in order to get resources that you used to get for free. But uh, you know, you're getting some gems now. You're getting some pretty healthy gem amounts, and we didn't have to reroll much there for stuff we needed. So, yeah, I mean, that's just my general advice. I wanted to cover that super quickly, talk about it. If you have any questions at all, please leave them below. I will also say that uh, if you're watching this video, when it releases, uh, it should be about a few hours before Jara releases and goes live. And I'm going to try and stream Jara live on my Twitch account. It's twitch.tv slash getmoneymyrick. Uh, so I would definitely recommend trying and tuning in for that. I'm going to try and get on at 930 Eastern, which is a, an hour and a half after reset. And hopefully we'll have an account from somebody at that point uh, that has built her. Hopefully she's released. I do have to work in the morning, so I can't stay up too late. I have to get up nice and early for my job. Uh, so we'll see if it actually pans out and works out. But I would definitely recommend trying to follow me there, trying to catch me live on in just a couple hours from when this video releases. But that's all I have today. Hopefully you, you found it helpful. I liked uh, a lot of the thoughts that people brought to the table. Thank you to June for the thoughts about the Tavern Quest. Thank you to my guildmate, Broken Name, for his thoughts about the math on this. I just really appreciate this community effort, and I will see you all later.